What's up, y'all? It's Kitty, and we're back with another video. Today, I know y'all been seeing the popular Little Caesar puffers going crazy. Be like, we about to remake our own homemade, so we about to show y'all how to do it. This is our first time doing this. Let's get it. Let's get into it. Honestly, we didn't look up nothing, no other videos, nothing on how to make these. We kind of just Wait. thought about what made sense and we're gonna wing it. First of all, we got this, my cupcake pan, and this the only size I have, so we're gonna use what we got. Then, nonstick spray, of course. Pepperonis, we make homemade pizzas a lot, so we already have pepperonis. We got the pizza sauce. We're gonna use these by Pillsbury. They're already cut and shaped. Mm -hmm. Mozzarella cheese. And look, y'all, look what we got. Dairy-free Parmesan cheese. I don't do dairy products. So this is interesting because it say it's made from oats. Cheese made out of oats. That's crazy. Let's That's read crazy. the ingredients on it. Oh, what the fuck is that? We got oat blend, which is water <laughs> and oat fiber. Yeah, we got coconut oil in here, modified cornstarch, potato starch, sea salt, natural flavors. Ain't no cheese in here. I hopefully it melt how it's supposed to on the piece of popper. Open bowl. it up, taste it, it right anyway. now. Open this bad boy up. Smelling it, it don't got the best smell. It smell like <laughs> I can't even tell you what that smell like, but it smell like potatoes. I don't know. It don't smell appetizing. I'm about to taste it though. I can't really taste this one strand. It's nasty. Maybe you gotta just cook on something and be with some, cause I'm just eating cheese. It don't taste like nothing though. Taste it. That do not smell the best. It tastes like cheese. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I don't know. It, I see you don't know. It don't like, have. All, I'm not a, a big, I'm not gonna eat cheese by itself. We about to throw it on this piece of season up and we gonna freak it, you camouflage it basically. Yo, you gonna see right now. First thing first, wash them hands. A lot of people really just don't wash their hands. Make sure we get our hands clean when we cooking this food because we don't want to get sick. Okay, so now hands clean. We finna spray the pan down with nonstick spray. We're only using eight of these, so I'm only gonna spray eight of them. Yeah, bring that boy. Got them boys all sprayed up. I honestly don't like open those because <laughs> when they pop, <laughs> <laughs> it, it be catch me off guard. It is irritating. Oh, shit. It is pretty surprising. <laughs> nah, we got them. We just gonna place them up a little bit. Put in the cheese in there. I don't wanna make some garlic butter. Put some butter in it. All right, so we just making our garlic butter so we can put it on our dough before we add the rest of our toppings in there. Put some minced garlic up in here. Garlic, mm, you really you don't even need no fucking garlic. This really all you need to make some good garlic butter because this shit is garlic. Microwave for about 15 seconds. We got our butter all warmed up and melted. Everyone get a dose, a dose of pepperoni. Got the butter. We don't really need a lot of sauce. We'll end it off with another pepperoni on top. So I'm gonna do mine a little different. First, I'm gonna start off with a little bit of sauce. That's good. Very convenient, this squeeze bottle mm -hmm. as well. Some pepperonis up on there. Pepperoni. I'm only gonna put the cheese on one of them because if I turn out not to like it, I still want to be able to enjoy more than two or one. Funny, uh, Lime dairy cheese. Uh, what? Oh, okay. I'm tripping. I thought you put it on mine. Why are you tripping? Mm. There we go. You have had cheese and stuff. I'm putting another pepperoni on top of this one. I'm gonna layer mine a little bit with pepperoni. I'll put a little more sauce. You gonna pepper it yeah, to make up for no cheese. And then put another pepperoni. And then we gonna finish this one off with a little bit of more cheese on top. So you don't play about that cheese when you do eat it though. I haven't had cheese in so long. And I remember I used to love mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. I used to, mm, cause on Thanksgiving, you mix the mac and cheese with the yams, with the greens, a little bit of cornbread. All right then. <laughs> you know what you talking yeah. about. And if y'all haven't noticed, I like side. I don't eat my sides before I eat the main. I love side dishes. Well, we was eating them lemon butter, honey, garlic, <laughs> chicken. Uh, and thighs. if you haven't seen that video, go back and That's watch what that I'm video. Saying. Go watch that video. We talking about 
but it's time to taste test it. She eats, she talking about the rice good. Eat that chicken, <laughs> like eat the chicken. All right, so we about to throw this in the oven. They all good. This his roll, this my roll. Again, this the only size pan I have. We gonna put it in there. And, and now we wait, um, what it say on there? Bake for 12 to 16 minutes, really? Okay, 10 to 16 minutes and we'll be right back. Do y'all watch Grey's? We watch Grey's Anatomy. We ain't on the new season, but we watch it. We've been watching this forever. <laughs> watching this for a damn near a year. We got season 18 out of 19. Let's check up on the food, guys. Time to take the food out the... No, you know I used the oven. Who fuck the oven? Now we gotta put the... All right, nah. Time to put the rest of our garlic butter on. I heard this shit sizzling. Just want to have our cheese on it. Shit. I ain't going back to Little Caesars. <laughs> the pizza posts are done. Y'all see what they looking like. They look good, actually. Of course, since we don't actually know how they make them or what they use to put them in, it's not going to look identical because the pizza posts look more like deep dish cups. Mm -hmm. These, we're going to call these piece of cupcake get it piece of cupcake. plate it up plate it up plate it up plate it up this the one with the cheese on it let's try our pizza puffs you go first it's gonna be hot you don't eat it when it's super hot let's <laughs> get it Ooh, you know i gotta go for this one first <laughs> look at that mm, it's hot Mm. How it tastes? Hot? <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's like a basically a piece of cupcake. You get that deep dish feel because it got that crust on the outside. Mm -hmm. That cheese to give it that crust. Cheese on there. Got our we use minced garlic with our butter, so it's real garlic. Put our pepperoni and our cheese on there. Go ahead and try yours. Oh, it is hot. Let me get this mm -hmm. the one without cheese. Crazy. Should probably try to put the cheese on the inside. And you love bread, so mm -hmm. I take it you. It's mm -hmm. good. I love bread. The, like the dough, it ain't too. It ain't. It's perfect. You get you a nice crust on the outside, soft on the inside. You got her stuff layered with pepperonis. Mm. I don't know how I am about my cheese, boy. Well, definitely will be trying these again. Let's try the one I put the nine dairy cheese on and again the cheese is made out of oats oat cheese hot it is hot <laughs> pardon me of it i can hey. it. I it. I can stuff. hey look at the cheese in there melted i don't know how i, I want to make them next time too that's how i'm gonna make them i'm gonna make sure my stuff got cheese on the middle so we get that Cause the dough just rose up. Let's take a bite. Let's take a bite. Um, I don't know. Like, take a bite. Take a bite. It's like mixed with everything. It's pretty good. We miss it's cheese as a as a non dairy eater. It's good. Oh here you go. Good. Good. Good bread. What you think about the Parmesan cheese? Would you you gonna use the rest of that? Would you try it on something else? Could you really taste it without like? Cause it's a lot of other stuff. Can I taste the difference between the one that got cheese and the one that don't? Yes, it the taste is different. I can't really say like I don't know. I can't give what type of taste it is, but you could tell it's there. Mm -hmm. When I eat on something else, it depends. I feel like I would have to have it mixed into something. Mm -hmm. Like if you was to make some creamy chicken or something, you put cheese in the sauce mm -hmm. like that. I would feel like I would need it in that to let me tell because. But other than that, I can't really say if I'm gonna have it again. I don't know. So it's a yay or nay? For me personally, let me say I was, I'm not the biggest fan of cheese. The texture, none of the cheese pool. Mm -mm. Yes. That I, no, I'm not the biggest fan. I wasn't too crazy about cheese before and I'm not too crazy about cheese now. Would I buy that again and use it? No, I'm good without it. Right, I bought it y'all. <laughs> so you, you don't want the other half if you don't want the cheese? No, you got it. Let me, let me taste it and review it myself because I'm a cheese eater myself. 
You chew so loud. It's like I can hear you chew. You be making a noise. Sorry I'm a loud chewer. I don't know. I had a big mouth, so it's bound to be loud. Uh, right, because you banged your four. Dang. Mm -hmm. I was hungry. You had a whole. Oh, I did have a whole episode. If it's so taste different, I don't know. It don't taste like regular mozzarella cheese. It's not cheese. It's a cheese substitute. It really didn't melt how I expected it to. It's not regular cheese. It just gives a cheesy taste, like a harder tasting cheese. If you like raw cheese and stuff, you just eat cheese. Say if you like blue cheese. That's something for you. If you it ain't for me. I buy it again with my money. No. But are we gonna use it up though? Yes. We're gonna find a way to freak it. That cre that creamy chicken ain't sound bad. We could probably make some creamy chicken wings or something. Ooh, ooh. No. You only want wings, fried, air fried. Fried. You don't want no air fried? Mm. You only want something fried. Ooh. Put them bad boys up. Or what, one and a half? Just put that one up. Put the one up. Say that one for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Say my half and one and a half for tomorrow. You ain't catching my drift. I caught it. You trying to throw it back or something? Overall, our piece of puffs didn't turn out to be piece of puffs. <laughs> we had actually made piece of muffins. Like I said, prior, we did not look up anything. We don't know how they was made. We just... Seen it, thought about it, and was like, let's see if we can do that. And it turns out to be pizza cupcakes. <laughs> will we do it again? Would you do it again? I'll do it again. I'll do it again. I will look into how they do it, but we would definitely do it again. The pizza cupcakes was good, though. Yeah. They, they was good. We lie. just found a way to just, we probably got to put dough on top so it'll actually be enclosed inside the mug. But that's not how it is. It ain't enclosed. We gonna look and see and figure it out. We gonna, I know some people got some videos, just mm -hmm. like we got a video. Hey, it's still a W for me. If y'all enjoy it, make sure y'all drop a like. Y'all come with some more food videos, video vlogs, drop whatever. Drop a like, make sure you subscribe. Comment and what y'all wanna see. Comment you, what y'all wanna see yeah. us do. We do a lot. Thank you All for right. watching. Bye. Peace.